Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston and today we're going to learn how to generate random numbers in C. So the first thing you need to know about random numbers is that they are not truly random. Even in programs or programming languages like Java and uh, Python, they are not actually random. They are just dependent on a variable which is changing continuously in order to generate some random number. Um, a, a similar case is observed in C, but the problem with that with the functions in C is that the rand function here is actually a very con convoluted and complicated um, hash function which takes an input and generates a random number based on that input and the problem is that it always uses the same input over and over again so you have to seed it with different inputs every single time in order to generate different numbers so the seed function or the seed random function or whatever this is called is over here and this takes a bunch of seconds so in here you pass in a value, an integer value, an unsigned integer value, you don't pass negative numbers, an unsigned integer value in order to generate the numbers. So um, you can pass any number you want. If you have a for loop, you can put for i equal to zero un until 10, and you can pass it into the s rand and you can generate random numbers according to your will but the pr what but the thing with this is that you don't want to do that every single time but what you will want to do is look at the time and pass in the time because the time is always changing it's never the same so whatever the hash value it depends on the value will always be different so what you do is you do time underscore t t which is basically a variable which holds the value of time you know very obvious if you didn't understand and this a variable lives inside this time reduced function oh sorry time reduced class or in c it's not a class exactly it's just a it's just it's just a header file so srand is a seed rand function which takes the seed which is an unsigned integer which in this case is the number of seconds and printf is basically printing whatever you want and what you want is to print a random number so this rand function over here is what generates the random numbers and the rand function is basically generating numbers which are between zero and rand underscore max rand underscore max is basically a very very large number which is stored in the std lib header file yeah corrected not a class header file so the rand function basically does that and um, and sometimes what you want to do is you want to restrict the numbers you want to generate to a particular range uh, basically from 0 to 10 or you know 10 to 25 or 50 to 100 or 1 to 6 whatever you want so most in, in most cases you don't use the rand function on its own you you modify it in order to generate the a range of numbers so the way you do this is, if you want to generate numbers from 0 to x, what, what you will do is, you will say percentage x plus 1. So, and for simplicity, let's just say you want to generate numbers from 0 to x minus 1. So you will say rand percentage x, or let's say x is 10. Now you will generate numbers from 0 to 9 with this entire expression over here. Now let's say you want to generate numbers from 10 to 20. Then you will say, oh sorry, 10 to 19. I got to be clear with that. So here you put this in brackets and when you generate this whole thing, you add it with 10 and that will generate a number between, you know, 10 to 19 or 10 to 20 and 20 is what X was. And now X minus one is 19. So we'll generate numbers from 10 and 19 included. So if you run this program, let's run it and see what happens. You generate number 11, which is between 10 and 20. 20 not inclu included. I gotta be specific. Okay, so that's how this entire program works. It basically has this thing over here, which is the time uh, pointer, and srand, which is a, a seed random function. Or it can even be, yeah, it is a seed random function. Then you have an unsigned thing over here. Uh, unsigned because time cannot be negative in most cases. It should be if you're in a different dimension. I don't know. So time and this time ampersand t will give you the amount of seconds and printf will print whatever you want and here i've just illustrated some an example over here if you want to throw dice if you want to throw dice okay if you want to throw let's say one die and that will generate absolutely about uh, six different numbers it could possibly generate six different numbers one through six and um, yeah if you throw it a, a thousand times, how many will it generate? So here, random percentage seven, random percentage seven will generate numbers from zero to six, and zero being let's say one, and I'm, while printing I'm seeing one plus i, which is kind of cheating, but oh well, it, I don't want to you know waste an entire cell of the array. You get what I'm saying. So let's run this program and see what happens. If I run it, 
I get one is thrown 155 times, two is thrown 116 times, which is not very close, but you can see the pattern here. They are pretty much really close. These three are really close. So as they say, if you throw something a lot of times, the and if it's unbiased, you know, it it kind of you know lays into place. It's kind of evens out. So yeah, that's the entire program. So yeah, if you wanna check out the code, it's in the description. You can just copy it, paste it, and use random numbers and see wherever you want. So if you like this video, uh, share it, thumbs up, and uh, subscribe if you are interested in more of these kind of videos because I make a lot of them sometimes. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.